Hey everyone, Luis here, I'm back and this time I'm going to show you a quick tip for you to repair your STL files, okay? I've done in the past already a uh, video that I think it was very well received about how to repair uh, files and I think I showed like three tools to do that but it was like three years ago so the idea now is to show you an updated version of this video but I will only show one uh, in definitive uh, tool for you to use, okay? Uh, to repair your files and it's free, you can download it, use for as long as you want and uh, the thing is, is you can ask why you need to repair your files, right? The idea to repair the files is that sometimes when you're going to print a model, even if you do all the configurations, you do everything right, the model keeps failing and you do not know why. And in many times it's because the STL file has these defects from the uh, import when the design creates the STL file, okay? As in, in many cases, even the slicers can't repair that because uh, I believe Cheatbox and Lychee, they have embedded tools to repair the files, but in many times it just doesn't work. For as long as you try, they can't repair the file. And with this tool that I'm going to show you, you can probably repair 99% of the files, okay? So stick with me and let's go to the PC and I'm going to show you uh, how to download and use the, the file, okay? The first thing you need to do is to go to the outdesk.com uh, and there you select start a trial from the product menu. Then you need to select the specific product that we are looking for here, which is the NetFab, okay? Click on download and then you see a welcome message, blah, blah, blah. Then you can go and do your registration. Don't worry about this registration because you are not going to use it anyway, but you need it to download the application, okay? So you put the details that you want, and move forward with this step then you go here and click on install okay even though i showed download you should click install okay uh, click install and then you select the file that you downloaded and start the uh, installation and it's quick in this case i i already had it installed so you go to the uh, application and open it you do not need to sign up you don't need to do any registration nothing just select the start non-licensed version here okay and if you want you can select always start uh, the non-license here's some privacy settings okay and then you can use the application so the thing you need to do is to drag and drop or open a specific STL and then you come here and click on add part this, this file will be here then select to repair, repair part from the menu over there and you can see here there are some defects on this uh, file select a repair and run repair script and run it wait for uh, some time sometimes it takes a little bit after that you click on apply repair and then you remove old part and go on export stl and it's saved already with the known name uh, we've repaired and then you can just uh, click ok and the file will be repaired and you can use whatever you want. Then I'm going to show now the uh, what happened on Litchi Slicer with the same file uh, and you check that it's not possible to repair uh, this file uh, even if you try there. It's the same file, you go there and they have this, uh, it shows red because it's there is a it needs to be repaired, then you select repair and it keeps damaged, okay? The file cannot be repaired. So that's it. That's how you repair files in 2024. Hope it helps you and thank you. See you next time. Bye.